to holler at you and Joe, Revolt never came to me. What do I look like? The albino nigga and the washed up nigga? The two stooges? Ruri and Maul? No, nigga. You can't, like, I love Joe, but he can't negotiate them for me. I'm a grown ass man. If you want me, come out at me. I got a whole lawyer. You can't talk to him and then they tell me. So the mere fact that I didn't do that, y'all ain't want me. I'm good. I'll get to that part too. So yeah, that's Twitch. That's whatever. By the way, I was on live recently with Joe. I get maybe Joe was, was misinformed. Listen, Joe, I know you're out of uh, Spotify. Holla at me. I'll bring you over. Bring you over here to Spotify. I won't mention his name, but I have you sit down with the head of music over here. They might have an offer for you. I don't know. I'm only clarifying shit because little niggas like to little nigga me. And I don't appreciate it. But really, again, I respect Joe. So this is never about Joe. We're giving to the time. By the way, I have some comments. Do, still about Joe, but it's really about the Rurian and Maul nigga. Because I was watching and listening to Joe talk about him leaving Spotify. And them little stooges sound like they had no fucking idea of nothing about negotiation. You know what that told me? Look at Drake. What's going on with Drake? Drake ain't drop. Stop fucking playing me. Oh, yeah. I'll cut this whole story short. I don't really give two fucks about this. This is just content. <laughs> this is just content. I ain't gonna lie to you. Did Drake drop? Oh, my God. No, he ain't drop. Yo, Grand Wizard, stop playing me. Grand Wizard, I love you, but I'll ban you for 24 hours, nigga, if you keep playing me like this. Anyway. I was on live with with Joe not too long, and he said, yo, why you keep dissing Rory and Maul? You know why, Joe? Them niggas are your stooges and your workers. Rory's name might might as well be Cam Girl. And the other nigga named Meal or Maul, his name might, might as well be House Cat. You know why? They're your employees. Spotify don't give two fucks about him. They're negotiating with you, Joe. You the boss. You're the boss. <laughs> with all due respect, and I love you, I couldn't have followed you to revolt. With you being a boss negotiating for me. Because I make different decisions. I'm a man. I got a mom. I got a lawyer. I got people who lie on me. I got a whole platform. I got to make decisions. Not you. So I'm listening to these. I'm listening to the stooges basically. I don't know if they, they agree with you or they're just like ad living. But I'm like, okay, so y'all niggas. <laughs> y'all niggas is out the fold. But I'm hearing, I'm hearing Joe. Um, I do want to say this. So the gist is the, the too long to digest version is Joe's leaving Spotify after he left Complex. And I know he did stay of the culture. He did love hip hop. But like, you know, his next real big thing was the podcast popping off. And by the way, if you ask me, I think the podcast popped off after it was not, you know, the Drake thing was was before. But like when he gave a platform to empower creators and went against complex that was the podcast and a lot of people said all right cool complex is a demon we're going to joe over the podcast that's what happened again i'm not complex i can't defend these motherfuckers yeah i do want to say i think joe is so talented that Joe could go anywhere, he could always build and destroy. That's a talent. Joe helped and, and I heavily built what everyday struggle was, and it was nothing for him to say. Fuck it. It's over. Y'all saw me on stream, like I was so invested in shit, I was emotional. <laughs> that is Joe. Joe is talented, I kid you not. The Stooges, this is why, this is why I say it, it's, uh, they're not going to say it, but them niggas is probably texting each other like, yo, man, what's up with Because he's your boss. Yeah, he, nobody negotiating with y'all. This is why I couldn't, I couldn't, 
If I'm not my own man, I can't I can't rock with it. Joe could go to fucking any outlet and he'll create the same thing. But here's the thing. The moment he doesn't feel appreciated, he's out. Now, it's not it's not my position to say what someone's worth is this and third. So you won't get me either saying that, yo, he's wild in this and third. Um, I was interested, and by the way, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll be done with this rant in five minutes if you want something else. But if you do, these are my thoughts. It, it, it was interesting that, you know, while I listened, listening to the shit, I, I couldn't really tell if he was privy to all the, all the stats and numbers that Spotify really knew. I also couldn't tell if... He was likening himself to, to networks. This is one thing I think we have a problem with in the black community. We're good at being creators. We're good at being talent. We're not good at creating businesses. Now, I'm saying that and also uh, while I'm pointing the finger there, the, you know, the thumb points back at you. I think DJ Academics is a fucking monster. I just gave Adam and No Jumper life for like three months right now. They about to milk that content because they were dying. Here's the kicker. You're a great personality, a great talent, but do you have a great business model? A lot of times people don't sell talent they're selling business models so when i hear you know i was listening to joe and he was talking about the ringer he was talking about gimlet those ain't talents those are business models business models that have acquired a bunch of ip and i was like makes sense so i was watching him comparing himself like joe you're probably the best talent on the fucking spotify exclusive list or whatever the, the case is but that's not what they're paying their money for. They're pay not paying for the talent. They're paying for the business. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? I might. So as I was trying to understand it, by the way, this is my humble uh, amateur look. And again, I'm going to be very careful because, yo, by the way, I think Joe is, is so great of a talent and also he's great of a narrative spinner. He's going to be more than fine. Don't you worry about that one. But as I was listening to the shit, and he was throwing out certain monies that was offered to other people or whatever, I'm like, yeah, but y'all have one show. Yo, Gimlet came with like mad shows. In my humble opinion, if Joe, and by the way, you know, well, I wouldn't mention that. That's private, some, some private conversations. I would be so Team Joe. And by the way, I'm still Team Joe. Because I still think that he has, he's going to prove again that talent is the most important thing. But still, if Joe had a network that had like five to seven other podcasts that was reasonably successful... I think the money he gets offered is astronomical. This is where it comes to the Stooges. The albino nigga. And then the other nigga who just don't, don't, don't do nothing. He's just like, I think he's the brother of some rapper. I don't know what the fuck he does. Y'all haven't branched off of what, he, yo, he's carrying y'all niggas. Branch off and make some shit. That's how you get a network, nigga. Everybody's selling network. Y'all selling a show. How about you branch off and make the albino and us friends? Or like like uh, me and my two albino niggas. Like whatever the fuck you want to do. But I think Joe, if Joe goes to him and says, yo, we have a strong eight shows that are a podcast. Yeah. So when he says something to the, to, to the effect of, yeah, they offered a lot of money, but they wanted all our rights. Now, I'm all for ownership in that shit. By the way, let me be very clear with saying this. Because this is one of the reasons why Joe left Complex. On the sticks I came up with. 
It's mirrored off my Twitch stream. I own on the sticks. I license it to Complex. There is there are an amount of seasons that they are licensed to have if they pick up the option. After that, the entire IP returns to me. Just, you know, niggas love to get like the dumb nigga like, yo, yo, look at this dumb ass thing on Twitch. Okay, don't let Teddy Bob fool you, nigga. I'm just getting my humble opinion. You get them little stooges just to, to, to get from under your ball sack and make some other shit. Y'all sell, I don't know, a Joe Button network with six shows. That money looks a lot different. Check Drake's story. I'm checking right now. Stop showing me about Drake, please. Please stop showing me about Drake. Is that Rihanna? That's not Rihanna, is it? Is that merch? Who the fuck is this? Sway Lee. Okay, so some merch shit. I don't the point is, as I was listening to that, um, I took Joe's comments as, number one, he's betting on his, his talent. I'm older. Joe is one of the most talented media personalities we have. He could go anywhere. He's dragging them stooges with him. He'll he'll find a home. He'll be fine. But then I also then come to the crossroads. And by the way, I'm a little bit different from Charlemagne, Joe, Sway, and a lot of the bunch. When I hear or I've seen that Joe is consistently and repetitively running into situations where he feels a company is devaluing the input that he's given to them. I'll give you an example. When we got to Complex, they were at a million subscribers. In a space of six months, they went to two million. They were at a million that took them, goddamn, felt like three years to get. We get there, their news channel went to two million like this. Now, that is value. I'm not sitting here to argue with this and third. But you've been through the rodeo before with a company like Complex not valuing you as how you feel you're valued. You then go to Spotify, and we're hearing the same thing. I then look at you, and only because I came from the independent route. Now, let's go back to what I told him when I met him. Oh, I'm already making $100,000 every month. If, if you're saying that's a bag, I'm making that already. It would dishearten me if Joe is still just looking around for another company to do the same thing to him rather than getting on Patreon, getting on YouTube, and doing it himself. Remember that. Remember those three things I'm saying. That's it. That's it. If I had a problem with Complex, and then say I worked with another company, and I had the same problem with them, keep in mind the money I was making per month, even though I was hustling a lot, was more independently than I ever made with a fucking company. If I had a problem with the company and they weren't making shit easier, they weren't making my life easier, they weren't filling in the gaps, making me more free for other shit and other ventures, I would do it myself. So I guess, you know, uh, it's, it's not my place to give Joe advice, but if you ask me what I'm, I'm thinking, I'm hoping at least at this point Joe isn't looking for someone to throw him a bag. If you got a problem with everybody, go independent. Stream your podcast on Twitch. Upload it on YouTube and other platforms. Have a Patreon. Do your live shows. You'll realize whatever bag that you claim, if you feel if you're really worth that much, that they didn't offer you what you're worth. If comp if listen, if, if I ever feel like yo, I'm being so disrespected at complex by what they're offering me. 
when I leave, I'm not leaving to go somewhere else. I'm going to do it on my fucking own. I was getting mad bread before them. So this is another thing that I, I like to put out to all of these little media niggas. You see, all you niggas came in with advances. Y'all came in through labels or, 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 or a media company or a radio station giving y'all a big check. I came in this shit month to fucking month. That's why you don't see me complaining. Because if my shit ain't right, I don't got to complain to nobody. I just kind of say, all right, cool. If it ain't going to be right, I'm leaving. And when I leave, I'm doing it my fucking self. Um, Joe, I, I love you. To the two stooges, I would have some sympathy for you guys, but I seen you guys talk so crazy and try to be the aficionados of other people's deals. I would imagine that y'all would be the last people in this, this position. But y'all also sounded very lost to what Joe was talking about, which tells me y'all not negotiating for your fucking self. This is why I constantly bring up hired help and stooges. When the bosses are talking, pipe down. Okay? I only said all that to tell them niggas to shut the fuck up.